So I've been blessed to have been teaching guitar online for a good number of years now, and I've learned a whole lot of stuff along the way. And not just about guitar, which I'll never stop learning. No matter how long I've been teaching or will continue to teach, I'm always gonna be a student at the end of the day, so we're in this together. But most interestingly, what I've learned are some insights on the challenges that my students face when they're trying to learn guitar. And through that, I've been able to identify certain patterns that have made it easy for me to predict what a student is going to encounter when they start learning particularly my demographic of students that are over the age of 40. And that's an important distinction because when you're starting to learn a new skill at that point in your life, you're gonna be facing a more unique set of challenges than if you were to be learning it a lot younger. So what I put together is what I consider the 4D chess approach to being over 40, get it? And these four Ds are gonna illustrate what to expect when you're trying to learn guitar over the age of 40. I wanna make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I've got a free gift for you and your guitar that you're gonna love. The first D is discomfort. Unfortunately, you're gonna be encountering a lot of that when you first pick up the guitar. Because think about it, you're literally introducing a foreign object that's gonna you know, be sitting in your lap or just by your person for a long time. And it's one of those things where if you've gone most of your life without doing that, it's gonna feel pretty unnatural at first. Everything from your posture to your sense of balance, all of those things are gonna be influenced when you're trying to adapt to holding a guitar. And not to mention the discomfort that you're gonna encounter when you're learning to uh, you know, play the strings and actually fret the notes. Not to mention playing an F chord. All that stuff's gonna be extremely discomforting at first. But that's okay, I'm telling you this so that you know ahead of time what to expect. So when you're encountering this discomfort, this is not a sign that you shouldn't be doing it. It's just something you should be aware of going in so that it's not as discouraging. Just know that this is a process, and over time, you're gonna feel more and more comfortable, and holding and playing the guitar is gonna feel a lot more natural. The discomfort does not last forever. In fact, it's very temporary. Because the point is, you're gonna have to get physically comfortable with a guitar before you can even start making noise with it. And speaking of noise, that brings me to the second D on what to expect when you're learning guitar over 40, and that's dissonance. When you start trying to play music on your guitar when you're learning, in the beginning, it's just, probably not gonna sound that good. And I'm telling you this to let you know that that's okay and that's all part of the process. I don't think there's ever been a person in history who has never touched a guitar before that just picks it up and all of a sudden they're just shredding. I know crazier things have happened in the world, but I'm pretty sure that's never happened. Because again, going back to what we first discussed, you gotta go through that discomfort first where you're building that sort of physical uh, uh, just second nature sort of feeling when you're holding and playing guitar. And when you get to the point where you've got those fundamentals down and you're ready to start making some noise, in the beginning it's not gonna sound that great and that's okay. It's just another step in just developing more of a comfort with what you're doing. Let's say you're trying to play the F chord, you know? When I first started playing guitar, I guarantee you the F chord did not sound like that when I played it. It sounded more like this. Yeah, that sounds about right. And that's to illustrate that you're gonna have to learn how to crawl before you learn how to walk. And you're gonna have to learn how to walk before you learn how to run. So with that in mind, the noise that you make is not gonna be the most pleasant noise in the beginning, but as you start to get more comfortable and you put more practice time in and you start to level up by small increments, what you're gonna do is find that more and more it's less dissonant what you're playing and it's actually starting to sound musical, you know? So instead of this, it's more like this. It's like, okay, there's some buzz, but I can hear something. And then eventually it's gonna be like this. Just ringing out clear as a bell. But you just gotta work your way up to it. And when talking about working your way up to improvements on playing guitar, you gotta know that the steps that you take are gonna be small and they may not be very noticeable, but it's something that you would really wanna see over the course of weeks rather than days, much less hours or even minutes. Now, you're gonna have some certain breakthroughs, you're gonna have some certain wins along the way, but a really good tool for, for kind of some self-reflection and some uh, self-monitoring of your progress is to take videos. So like, let's say on Monday, you take a video of yourself trying to play the F chord, let's say. And then you spend all week, right, doing the bar chord pinch or doing these other exercises to just make it a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable to play the whole chord. By the time, you know, next Monday rolls around, take another video of yourself playing the F chord, and it may not sound 
perfect, but it may, you're gonna notice, if you've been putting in the work, naturally you're gonna notice an improvement, right, in playing that chord. So it may be, it may be less buzzy, there may be the, you know, certain notes that you really couldn't play in that, in that previous video you took are now ringing out a little more clearly, right, and there's some noticeable improvement. And let's say you do this over the course of three or four weeks. And then at the end of that time, you watch those videos consecutively, one after the other. You are going to notice a positive difference in the way you play. It's just gonna happen. And when you space them out in week-long increments, that's when you're really gonna notice the difference. But just understand, most of the improvements that you're gonna see are gonna be like that. They're gonna be over longer stretches of time. You know, you're not gonna be instantly better at most things, and that's okay. Like I said, there's shortcuts and there's certain hacks that you can find to just kind of help you along the way and, and kind of exponentially improve things in the long run. But if you really were to look at, you know, objectively, like how much improvement am I making, you're gonna, make, you're gonna notice it a lot more if it's in longer stretches of time. Oh, and by the way, if you're getting value out of this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Not only does it really help us out, but it lets us know that you're enjoying these lessons and that you want us to keep bringing you more. All right, back to business. And speaking of long stretches of time, that's gonna bring me into the third D in our 40 chess, which is disappointment. It's just something you're gonna feel. Not all the time, maybe not even most of the time, but you are going to encounter that feeling at some point in your guitar journey, particularly the first year or so as you're trying to learn. It's just one of those things that for most folks, it's unavoidable. It's just part of the process of learning a new skill that's not particularly easy, right? If it were easy, everybody could do it. We all know that. So if we're gonna be encountering challenges, it's gonna frustrate us, right? And we might be, we might be disappointed in ourselves or in our progress, but the reality is that disappointment, most of the time, is pretty unfounded. And what I mean by that is that you shouldn't be disappointed in yourself because there's really no one you should be competing with other than who you were yesterday. The disappointment that you're gonna encounter is just a natural feeling, but don't direct it at yourself, right? It doesn't do anyone any good to be disappointed in yourself when you're encountering something very natural and to be expected when you're learning guitar. So when you encounter that feeling, just know that it's natural and it is in no way an indicator that you should stop playing. Now you might wanna take a little break just for your own sanity, right? But you wanna come right back to it when you're feeling ready and pick it up again and start playing. Because here's the thing about disappointment particularly, it's something you never truly grow out of as a guitar player. Because truthfully, disappointment is one of those things that you're gonna encounter no matter what level you're at as a guitar player. And not just speaking for myself, I definitely encounter disappointment from time to time, but even in guitar players that I admire and that I look up to, I see them going through it as well. And I mean, it's just one of those things that we're human beings, so we're gonna feel disappointed sometimes. Now I'm telling you this so it doesn't come as a surprise when you first start to feel disappointed in your progress. Just know that it's all part of it, it's something that you're gonna inevitably feel, and you're gonna get through it. That's the thing, is if you encounter that, Maybe you wanna take a little break, just kind of reset yourself and come back and pick it up. The, really, the, the secret is perseverance and persistence. It's not just some natural talent or some natural affinity that's gonna make you some kind of genius guitar player within the first few months of playing. It's all in the, it's all in the consistent just, just getting after it, you know? Even if it's five minutes a day, consistency was re is really where you're gonna encounter the most progress. It's better to practice five to 15 minutes a day than one to two hours every few days. So if you ever feel disappointed, just know that it's okay to feel that way. It's natural as part of the whole process and it'll pass. The important thing is remembering your commitment to stick to itiveness and that's what's gonna get you through 100% every single time, guaranteed. And that leads us to the fourth D in the 40 chess for learning guitar over 40 and that is domination. Now I know that may sound a little hyperbolic, but what I'm talking about with domination is the achievement and the progress that you're gonna be making when you're getting through all of the discomfort, all of the dissonance, all of the disappointment. What that's gonna inevitably lead to is you dominating on guitar. And by dominating, I'm talking about dominating your goals. The thing is, guitar and music shouldn't be a competition. Like I've mentioned before, the only competition you're in is with yourself. In fact, that's what guitar mastery method refers to, mastery over the self. Because at the end of the day, music should be a fellowship and should never be a competition, in my personal opinion. 
All, like I said, all we're competing with is ourselves. All we have control over what we master is ourselves. And you can think of the guitar as a tool for self-mastery. And so it's that self-mastery and all the goals that you set in place to get you there that you want to be dominating. And like I said before, your progress is going to be incremental. You know, you're going to get just little by little, more comfortable, less dissonant, right? 1% better at the guitar every time that you practice. It's how it's going to work. So you just have to keep that in mind. All these things I'm telling you is to just give you a heads up, right? Give you some, some, some insights, some intel onto what to expect especially when it comes to the challenging parts. That's why I'm calling it 4D chess, right? So you're going into it, not with any kind of uh, desire to, let's say, avoid these things because you really can't. It's just something you're naturally gonna run into and it's something I've seen happen time and time again with my students, but you're gonna, go in, you're, you're gonna be going in knowing exactly that that's just part of the process, right? That discomfort, all part of the process. That dissonance, maybe it's not that pleasant, but all part of the process, right? The disappointment, you know, all we have to know is that that's just natural. That's what's gonna, that's how we're gonna feel and we're gonna get through it, right? It's never gonna be a permanent failure. The only way you can permanently fail, you know, fail at playing guitar is to just quit it altogether. And we know you're not gonna do that, right? So even temporary defeats that we may feel like we're encountering, right? That's all they are, it's temporary. You're gonna be getting through that. You just have to keep your eyes on the prize, right? Keep your strategy in mind, knowing that at the end of the day, you're leading to that domination, you know, that ability to just conquer all of your goals and to get yourself through all of those challenges because knowing that you're gonna go through them actually makes it a little bit easier going in because you're not gonna be caught by surprise by any of them. So if you're over 40, you now have the four Ds to start playing 4D chess when you're learning guitar. And to add even more tools to your winning strategy, I've got something that's gonna give you an even more unfair advantage to your game of 4D chess. It just so happens to be that free gift I was telling you about, and I got it right here. Haha. <laughs> this is the fretboard conveyor belt. This is a system that I've developed that's already helped thousands of guitar players all over the world learn to navigate the fretboard with some fluency and some confidence and be able to play in any musical key you can possibly imagine. You're really gonna be playing 4D chess with this baby. So be sure to click here to claim your copy or check that link in the description box. And with that, I wanna say thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.